नमस्कार टुडे वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट इंटरेस्टिंग बुक बाय श्री संदीप सिंह जी विच इज़ इन टू वॉल्यूम्स इट इज फर्स्ट वन इज ऑन मंदिर की अर्थव्यवस्था दैट इज टेम्पल इकोनॉमिक्स एंड वॉल्यूम टू ऑन मंदिरों के लिए एक दशक अडिकेट फॉर मंदिर दिस बुक इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग बुक and uh, it talks about various dimensions which are associated with mandir while going through this book it has so many dimensions uh, which uh, reflects the thorough research done by shri sandeep singh ji so in this video i'll be talking about few components uh, which are from this book itself is a sort of a review of this book and as well as some unique dimensions which are associated with this book so this book starts with the concept of mandir itself and how by restricting it to a temple is a such a disservice to the whole concept of mandir why because this book explains that how a mandir is not just a building or a structured but it is the home of bhagwan in sanatan dharma and hinduism it is the home of bhagwan it is the birthplace of our culture our civilizational ideas here the cultural components get nurtured so first we should use the appropriate word that mandir is not just same as a temple so on this note this book starts then it comes to the component of how the mandir based earth vivastha leads to prosperity leads to sustainability leads to social development because it is not just about the revenue of the temple which is generally discussed but it is about how the mandir leads to the benefit of various components it is very beautifully explained in this book that how a mandir helps in the revival of art how it helps in the growth of his sculptures in the preservation of traditional forms of painting and various other cultural dimensions because if you go to a mandir you will find there are so many beautiful sculpture work outside there are centers or places for bhajan geet lok geet nritya there are places for painting there are places for gurukul there are places for a goshala so outside mandir you will find a lot of shops which sell the goods related to mandir the places of mandir have a whole economic system built around the mandir itself mandir being the central figure there so by restricting it to just a premise or a building we do a lot of disservice so very good points are being made with respect to how mandir based earth vyavastha works there are more points which will be coming up in the subsequent discussion another interesting component of this book is that there are a lot of case studies being shared so that a reader if he has a need for some practical cases how this is being done so numerous cases are being mentioned for example palani mandir which restored a very important instrument called as nad swaram how kumbh mela leads to the revival 
of the spiritual traditions leads to the revival of cultural traditions leads to the economic development not only of the place where it is being held but for the whole state and as well as the whole nation the case studies which are given in this book helps us understand that whatever points are being mentioned they are being substantiated with the right logic reason as well as example and a illustration which is not just a common illustration but a very prominent illustration of what the book talks about then the book goes to the idea of how the holistic approach to life which is the central theme of hinduism and sanatan dharma which is also known as four purusharth dharma arth ka moksha and how the dharma leads to happiness and for that it is important that person remains humble does vidyajan seva so these components are also linked to mandir for example the earth component we discussed in slides before this the author explains how the cultural artifacts are also connected to mandir for example we know that many sarees which are available across india most of them are from places which are known for mandirs or they have any deep spiritual significance so kanjivaram tanjor maheshwari sarees all these have a deep linkage with the mandir in that city or in that place so the idea of having mandir as a place for revival of whole activity of a holistic life will be very beneficial and this has been in practice for long so if you see all the gurukuls the knowledge centers the places for goshala they all used to revolve around mandir so it has connection with ayurved so we talk about health and well being of a person so the mandir are places for ensuring the physical well being the mental well being which is being discussed these days so it is related to ayurved it is related to art it is related to culture it is related to civilization it is related to the whole system of life of people of bharat the book also talks how this beautiful system has been under attack for thousands of years whether the invaders the islamic invasion happened the british christian invasion the portuguese christian in, in, invasion and subsequently even after 1947 there have been systematic efforts which have been leading to the decline of this mandir based arthavastha or the mandir based system of living and therefore as a community as a society people of bharat will have to put in a lot of efforts will have to become so much resilient will have to deliver on developing the mandirs and for this there are numerous examples how how in past this was done and this was done with a lot of rigor and vigor and the results were outstanding for example ahilya bai holkar she built more than 100 mandirs across bharat maratha shivaji they all did a lot of f things so that we could rebuild mandir and the invaders they also understood that if we keep on destroying their mandirs they will rebuild it and their economy would sustain 
so british learned from the islamic invasions and they tried to gain control over the affairs of mandir and unfortunately that system continued after 1947 so the book talks about various intricacies of how the mandir have been under attack from different systems and in different ways we have academicians who are propounding theories and leading to the confusions among masses about mandirs they are teaching wrong theories and concepts we are seeing that many ngos are utilizing the loopholes in the legal systems they are trying to use the legal system against the idea of sanatan dharm mandir and hinduism we are seeing how the bureaucracy even the people in the bureaucracy who are so called hindus uh, so the book calls them sarkari hindus they try to bypass the sanctity of mandir they try to disregard the rituals of mandir the book also talks how the brown sipahis the people who who work at the behest of the western powers or the foreign powers to bring harm to the mandir system the book also talks about the internal situations the internal forces which lead to the destruction of the mandir based earth vyavastha and most importantly the hindus themselves a lot of hindus a lot of people in sanatan dharma they themselves don't have a deep regard for the rituals and practices of mandir they don't understand the importance they don't sustain the performance of rituals they don't understand they don't value it which leads to more harm more and more harm uh, because as we know the internal harm is more dangerous than the external one so book covers a lot of things which are going around our society and it offers a sound logic based fact based critique of how all such things are leading to the destruction and decline of mandir west vyavastha the book also has a point valid point in terms of how various modern temples which are being made and they are devoid of the rituals and practices traditional practices for example somewhere you are not allowed to carry the flowers somewhere uh, you are not allowed to carry the prasad somewhere people are not allowed to say it meditate etc so they may be looking as mandirs they may be presenting themselves as mandirs but the feeling that bhav to the person who enters there is not found and many people have experienced this that they don't feel such vibrations while going to many mandirs which are so called modern mandirs so we need to re look at that and this signifies the importance of upholding the traditional practices without which our mandirs won't be mandirs in the real sense another component which is very crucial to be addressed because it has linkages with the people who are from hinduism and sanatan dharma a lot of people who are hindus themselves but have been misguided to certain unknown realms of idealism they do a lot of harm to mandir because in the name of reforms a lot of people fall into the trap and they have a futile debates on say like matters like okay whether there should be a mandir or a hospital so talking about mandir and hospital cannot be dichotomous because mandir 
a lot of mandir in our country they run free medical facilities of they offer free education they offer free residential facilities they offer food they offer living so why do you, you want to think that the mandir and hospital are dichotomous why to enter into this futile debate i have shared few slides ago that the mandir they sustain the ayurved so a place for physical and mental well is a mandir so why need we why should we enter into a debate of mandir and hospital which only creates confusions which only creates trouble in the society and is of no use similarly the cultural identities that we have with us for example foreigner branded us as sone ki chidiya but the book argues in a very strong point that we have the birds like jatayu sampati garud who protect dharm with their ferocious powers and sone ki chidiya can be easily trapped and that happened with us similarly liking us to a elephant while our cultural and civilizational history tells us we have been roaring like a lion to protect the dharm to protect the people our leaders from time to time have roared like a lion in the interest of not only bharat but in the interest of world in the interest of world well being so we should be very careful while choosing our cultural artifacts and this idea of connects with the cultural digestion by rajiv malhotra ji of how our own symbols rituals and practices have been taken by west and repackaged rebranded in different ways and we just become a recipient of it and we stop thinking beyond that false narrative a prominent example is of bhagwan krishna now we know that in bhagavad gita bhagwan krishna swarup showed vishwarup darshan which is multi dimensional which is beyond dimensions rather we saw bhagwan shifting to dwarka in form of ranchod we saw him killing kans at a very early age while the image of bhagwan krishna that is being projected is just with re- in the relation to rasli so bhagwan krishna is purna avatar sola kansh sola ansh avatar but we reduced him and we fall into the trap and the narrative is gone so the mandir can help us in understanding the right perspective right cultural right dimensions of our own civilization and so that we don't fall prey to such things and mandir can play a role in this revival so the strategies for reclaiming the mandirs for the revival of mandirs have been discussed in book in a very detailed and thorough manner which covers various dimensions right from regaining the respect for pujari in the mandir so whether it's the appointment of pujari the traditional practices their sanctity their procedures need to be restored because that person will be in the in charge of all such practices we need to reclaim the right towards the murti puja we need to reclaim our right to many mandirs which are in the not in the control of people themselves the community should own them so legal structures are required legal systems are required to protect we need to have an arthavastha which is built around mandir so that is needed and logic and argument can be given based on the things which are already going on like many mandirs they have a prasad centers they have gold uh, being sold there 
देर आर सो मेनी गंगा जल वितरण यात्रा दैट है सो रिवाइवल ऑफ यात्राज फॉर एग्जाम्पल कावड़ यात्रा सो ऑल ऑल दीज डायमेंशंस आर कनेक्टेड टू द रिवाइवल ऑफ मंदिर सिस्टम एंड इट वुड लीड टू द मंदिर रेट ऑफ ग्रोथ विच वुड बी फार मोर बेटर देन द करंट इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ सो दिस रिवाइवल वुड रिक्वायर पीपल टू मेक स्मॉल एफर्ट्स ऑल्सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल जस्ट लाइक गोइंग टू मंदिर एट रेगुलर इंटरवल्स डूइंग गोइंग देयर फॉर द स्पिरिचुअल सिग्निफिकेंस एज वेल एज कल्चरल सिग्निफिकेंस डूइंग सम क्लीनिंग वर्क देयर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग टू एनी गुरुकुल देयर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग टू गोशाला कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग टू आर्ट फॉर्म्स सो दिस वे बाय लिविंग दैट कल्चर वी विल बी एबल टू प्रिजर्व एंड बिकॉज इट इज नॉट अ म्यूजियम बिकॉज भारतीय संस्कृति इज नॉट कैन नॉट बी प्रिजर्व इन म्यूजियम इट हैज टू बी लिव्ड एंड दिस वे वी कैन स्टार्ट पुटिंग इन steps for the revival the practices the rituals so once those are reperformed or performed with proper understanding and most importantly valued then only the next generation will be able to find the significance because one generation if value something in high probability second would do that and always with some decrease in the percentage so if we want it to happen at 100% that this generation would have to give it to a 200% so this rituals are not to be discarded are to be practiced performed valued understood and their significance at macro level needs to be seen another dimension is of the kathakar the people who do katha because the we have seen a lot of people have raised concern about the history which is being taught in schools which are which is being written in the books so that history is not always kind towards bharati culture and sanatan dharma we have seen the ample examples so now from where the people will learn the right history it is to the kathakars they can bring the right dimensions of our cultural and civilizational history to people and that is again connected to mandir mandirs can become a place for training for self defense training for various skills for example if there is a trishul which has to be made for the mandir of durga ma it can help people learn metallurgy it can help people learn how the art of metallurgy the science behind it sculptures so many things are there so mandirs can become a hub or a place or a central point for all such skill development of people at the end book talks of a very interesting idea of developing mandir nagars it has been shared with example of how many cities across the world which at point of time were very flourishing cities but suddenly they go bankrupt and it's devoid of people but if you see bharat there have been traditional cities which are around the mandir and they are mandir nagars and they have been thriving for years so if we want to develop our economic system also we if we want to have good governance the fuel the base the foundation can come from mandir nagar and it will lead to the better health facilities better educational facilities better economic facilities better governance better social development better sustainable development and therefore the author also stresses the need for a ministry of mandir affairs along with ministry of majority affairs because there are so many components associated with it and having this dimensional view or the perspective can bring drastic change in our society it has brought the changes in past and it has the potential to bring the changes in today for a better future 
in the coming slides there are few pics of uh, this book being shared with various dignitaries you may have a look so uh, this book has uh, getting good acclaim claimed from various dignitaries shri nitin gadkari ji the director of i am nagpur receiving the book at banasali we had a very nice interaction with professor harsh purohit and shri sandeep singh ji on the book and audience appreciated it a lot the book was launched it was a great time this book has been launched at various forums which highlight the significance professor tandon receiving book a copy of book from professor harsh purohit at banasthali chanakya university wonderful event again getting a lot of appreciation so i hope um, i could do justice uh, uh, with this book uh, i understand this is not just what a 10% of book is it has very exhaustive research based work by sandeep singh ji and uh, only way to pay tribute to this book is by contributing to the development of a mandir uh, and in in whatever form we can do it and that would be the best so thank you everyone for watching this video i hope uh, this would develop or generate more and more interest in this book and you would read it and then act uh, for the mandir based life in bharat dhanyawad